53 laps of racing will take place here at the Suzuka circuit. Four lights, five lights. And it's go. Away we go for the start of the Grand Prix. Looks as if Owen McGorgie's got a good start. And Pascal Pollens is challenging for second immediately. He's on the outside. It will be McGorgie, though, who holds on to that one. So McGorgie, Grankvist, Pollens. Someone runs wide in the uh, the background. Uh, possibly Carlos Martin there dropping a couple of places. No, no, Martin's actually gained a place. So I must have been looking at the wrong driver. Around the outside now comes one of the THRs. A little bit of banging wheels with Fabrizio Gobbi, and that's Tom Stevens, who, who's made up three positions uh, in these four positions in these early stages. So meanwhile, uh, that looks like Adam Maguire going for a move. Uh, and indeed, Maguire is now up into the top 10. Daniel Stepkowski, let's take a look at him because he's dropped down to 16th position. He's heading down no. to the Degners, all on the curb, and around he goes. Uh, it's a decent save. He's going to avoid the barriers. Oh, maybe slightly touch them. Won't have much damage from that. I believe Grankvist has now lost the RS from Omogorgi, so that means Mogorgi has the opportunity to get away. But look at Williams up the inside of Pascal Pollens now. Sweeps through on the inside, and uh, that's the kind of move that I'm sure we will be seeing all day here at Suzuka. And Dylan Fisher is out of the race, and we were just watching him. So what's happened here? Now this is coming down towards the pit lane, attenuator, oh dear, and he's going to go into the outside wall, and a huge crash rolls the car over, and here's what happened to Fabian Ballet. Now he's done a good job there, because he's locked up the uh, the front and rear wheels, uh, meaning the the car hit the wall with the, the very front, with just the front wing, so he shouldn't have any suspension damage. And Thomas Buck... Thomas Buck, yeah, making the move on Maguire. As Maggio actually has Higo Poom all over his tail now, Dylan Fisher's AKA, AKA hero teammate. As Jack Mayer now goes side by side with Moritz Krop on the outside and goes through. But Mayer up into 13th now and Krop dives into the pits as well. There's a little move going on up in front and that's Lali now up into the top 10 ahead of Adam Maguire. Fabrizio Gobbi up alongside Tom Stevens goes through. Gobbi up into P7. As Adam Maguire now comes in, Tom Stevens in he comes, Matthew Williams also in in front. And into the pits comes McGorgie, and he's on the hards. Maggio has crashed out. I imagine this will be very similar to uh, Stepkowski's spin earlier on, uh, but he twitches, overcorrects, and is unable to keep it out of the barriers. Into the pits now, Panzer from third. Uh, Schluter is in from inside the top 10, Jakopeka Lalu is in, Jan Grankvist is in. Okay, so Grankvist, uh, if it's okay, I'd like to have a look at what tyres he's on. Well, here's Panzer on the soft tyres, so another stint on softs, uh, and softs for Grankvist as well. Matthew Williams has just jumped Robin Panzer, who now has to go long on those hard tyres, Ryan, as Panzer overtakes Jeffrey Fournier in Spoon. Matthias Moose into the pits. Pascal Pollens now leads. Carlos Martin has pitted. He's on hard tyres now. God, this is going to be hard to keep keep track of. It's going to be one of those races, isn't it? Jan Grankvist. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly not complaining. Indeed, it makes it exciting for us. Uh, there is Liam Deval. Very close now to Robin Panzer. Panzer around the outside. Oh, and gets the move done. As McGorky now makes a dive. Bradshaw saw him quite late, had a little lock-up on, uh, on the brakes, but uh, they keep it clean. McGorky goes through. There's Mark Schluter now getting past Tom Stevens. That's for position, isn't it? Because they both made their stops. We're getting stuff behind back, Mark. You see Schluter going for a move on one of the stacks cars, I believe that is. Oh, shucks, yeah. Oh, it doesn't get it done, though. It's going to be a brave one, that's for sure. And Tom Stevens got very, very stacked up, almost sideways, trying to avoid the rear end of the Edge Esports car. Into the hairpin, look at the dive! Who is that? That was Tomasz Vok there getting involved. No DRS on this particular straight. There's only one DRS zone, unless I'm very much mistaken. Into 130R, touching wheels they go. Wide, wide, wide goes Stepkowski. And Jakubek Alali now fights with Daniel Stepkowski and makes up that one particular position. It looks like Collins oh, is in pits, actually, yeah, so... And so is Bradshaw. Going to turn that lead back. Oh, oh, and wide. And Poom basically lets him through there by running wide. Into the pits comes Higo Poom. That means that Grankvist has actually gained time on Mogorgi rather than lost time. And it's like I said last week where 
from Magargi did seem to drop a little bit after the first and then second pit stop. So we'll keep an eye on that one, but yeah, the Grand Quest fans will be happy as he can now just keep his head down. And here comes a move now, Mark Sleater on Jeffrey Fournier. Fournier yet to stop, I think, isn't he? He's been going a very yeah. long time on those medium tyres. And Schluter goes through to P9. So as I was saying before, Mogorgi leads by four seconds from Grangfist, who is in fact on those hard tyres. Martin gets through on Shepard as Gobby goes past Chris Shepard. Down the back straight we go. This is an opportunity for some overtakes. We've got Mark Schluter. Actually, Liam Duval is going for a move on Chris Shepard here, despite being on an alternate strategy. Oh, very close with the two Edge Esports cars through 130R. And Shepard gives way to his teammate Mark Schluter. Right over to the inside line in defence goes uh, Liam Duval. Still fighting with Mark Schluter. Did he come into the pits or did he just lose two places? Well, Shepard's in the pits. Because Gobby definitely dropped behind Schluter and Duval there, did he not? Oh, it's Bally at the same That's corner. The TX3. It'll be the exit curve again. It's exactly the same thing. That's exactly... Now, how does he lose it? Oh, goodness. Well, he spun into the other barrier this time, so he's caught both of them. Here's Fabrizio Gobby. Should be a relatively straightforward move on Liam Duval. He's done it once already. And through he goes into P7. As you see a move going on, that's Pascal Pollens on Liam Duval. Around the outside, he has more grip. And there's a lot of grip on the exit there, so he does make the move stick. And McGorgie's out! McGorgie has just shown up as a DNF! Surely it's a disconnection, right? There he goes, he's disappeared! Goodness me! Oh my word. And Owen McGorgie, through no fault of his own, he will not finish the Japanese Grand Prix that he would so likely have won. And that, of course, means that Jan Grangfist is in the lead of the... Oh, and who's that inside? Pascal Pullens. Now, what happened there? Take a look at that on replay. Let's have a let's have a look. He's on the grass, but that's a long way before the breaking point. That is not a natural accident. That looks that looks a lot like the kind of crash someone has when they have a pop up on their screen or just something like that. But Pascal Pollens is well and truly out of the race. Is Stein Hangraf looks to be making a move on Jumane Zapala that he was attempting to overtake potentially. Oh, goes over the grass, has a spin. Tomas Vok now into the pits, Liam Duval into the pits. Vok for the second time, Duval for the first time. And they're going to swap places here, just as we saw them do a couple of times in Jeddah. Adam Maguire going ahead of Tom Stevens. And Williams pits now. Matthew Williams in for his last stop from second place. Williams might well drop back a bit further, because look, he's held up in traffic now. He's got to get past Janos Bratjok, which he attempts to do into the Cassio Triangle, goes up the inside and gets through very importantly. As Williams now goes past Jack Mayer, relatively straightforward due to them being on different strategies. Williams now going for a move on Matthias Moose down the straight, up the inside, goes through. He's siding past these cars. Matthew Williams to the inside of Jakubek Alali goes through, had a little twitch on the entrance on the entry to the corner. Williams goes past Tom Stevens. Williams has gone past Tom Stevens. Here is Matthew Williams on Adam Maguire. Goes through in exactly the same place that he passed Jack Mayer just uh, a lap or two ago. Much Schluter is in the pits now, so he will not be staying up any longer. Down the straight they go, Schluter sweeps through, does he? He'll have to hold it out around the outside of 130R does make it work and Wok was fighting with Gobby so there's probably been contact here into turn one yeah they rub wheels and that's the danger of course Tom Stevens who was third in the championship coming into this round is out of the Grand Prix in a big big way whoa it's a oh, lag spike no. no fault of Tom Stevens whatsoever Schluter, oh, Schluter up to 10th sorry Schluter passes Bratchup for 10th and Schluter continuing to make positions how many of these positions can he gain? Well, definitely going to be one on into turn one. He's already got the move done on the straight. It's much later it touches the back there. There was definitely a little rub. Touches the back of Mateus Moose's car. Now he gets a run. Stepkovsky sets the fastest lap. Goes up the inside. Good move. Left the braking late enough. Little lock up from Moose and through as well comes Heiko Poom. Poom doing a great job. It's not the easiest of overtaking opportunities, but he'll go for it. Look at this. Up the inside now. Hopefully Mayer sees him coming. He does. 
and Schluter goes through into P7. Lali to the outside, and he sweeps through and oh, oh, they they lock wheels. Do they make it through the corner? Well, Lali's wide. Look at look at Schluter coming through. Lali's lost plenty of places. Maguire maintains P5. Two laps to go now for this fight for P5. And surely it's going to go the way of Mark Schluter. He's got the DRS open, goes to the inside of Adam Maguire, slides through on the straight, and there's nothing that Adam can do about that one. And Gobby's out. Oh, no. Fabrizio Gobby was P14, was going to collect two points for the new TX3 squad, and also retires in the late stages. And around Ooh. he goes. We've seen some big accidents today. Final lap now. Should be straightforward for Grangfist. But of course, we have to watch what's happening further back. This is for second position on the last lap of the race. Martin to the inside of Robin Panzer goes through on the straight. And through to second he goes. Lali now on Poom. Lali to the outside. Goes through. This is where he made contact with Maguire. That one much cleaner. Good move. Talking of Maguire, he's under pressure from Moose. But Grangfist has done all that he needed to. He's driven a fairly spotless race. And out of the final corner he comes. The driver who won his first race two weeks ago has won again. Jan Grankfist wins in Suzuka just like he so nearly did a year ago. Carlos Martin is going to claim second place on the last lap of the race. Great drive from Carlos Martin. It was actually a change for third on the last lap too. There, Panzer, there was, yes. Not only did Pansar lose out to Martin, but Williams got through as well. Matthew Williams was able to claim the podium place on the last lap and that's only his second podium in Super League so he will be very happy with that. I think that's Martin's first podium in Super League. Let's just see the rest of the uh, the finishing order if we can. Because those are the uh, the top 10. Yamas Bratchok, Liam Duval, Philip Pushke, Chris Shepard and Jeffrey Fournier will also score points. Then it was Tomas Vok, Stein Handgraf, George Salagianis, Moritz Krop, who doesn't seem to have crossed the line for whatever reason. And Fabian Ballet who was P20 and the last finisher two laps down. Fabrizio Gobbi retired. We saw his crash. There were a lot of crashes in this one. Zolk Schuchs was out. Daniel Stepkowski, Tom Stevens, Germano Zapala, Pascal Pollentz, Owen Magorgi, Alessandro Maggio, and Dylan Fisher. All failed to finish. Isvan Zingel was the other driver not on that list, but he also failed to finish this race.